So it looks like I might have done it again. Um, yeah, I went shopping at Sephora. Hey y'all, so today I have a Sephora haul to share with you guys because I have a problem and so many like cool things have been coming out and I want to try everything. So I placed an order on Sephora's website, um, actually I placed two orders because I'm crazy and then I got the stuff in the mail and now I want to show you guys because that's what I do here on my channel. I love a good haul video. So if you like Sephora hauls or beauty hauls, um, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and if you want to see maybe like an update video on this, I can do that for you guys. Anyway, Anyways, enough talking, let's get into it. So this whole like, haul happened because I had a bit of an emergency. Um, my dog ate not one, but two of my beauty blenders. So I was beauty blenderless and I needed to get a beauty blender because, you know, how else am I supposed to do my foundation effectively? So I got a new beauty blender and I've been keeping my eye on this so Bentley doesn't need it again because that is literally like no bueno. Like, so I got a new foundation that I've been talking about picking up and it's the Becca what are you? It is their Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation and I got the shade beige which is a little too dark but I think in the summer it'll be perfect and I actually tried it for the first time today so so far so good. It is a little dark but it looks really really pretty on the skin. It looks very luminous and I used it with the backlight primer so hopefully it turns out pretty good. I also picked up a new concealer. I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer and this has been really hyped up on YouTube lately and it's been sold out at Sephora for the longest time so when I saw it was back in stock I had to get it and luckily the shade I got is a good match for me and I've used it a few times under my eyes and so far I really really like it. I picked up a couple of new lipsticks because I love a good lipstick. The first one I got is from Bite and it's one of their Amuse Brioche, brioche, I don't know. I have no idea what it actually says, but I got the color Fig, and I think this is a new formulation for Bite. Um, it has a little like dip in the top, which I think you can kind of tell which formula is which based on the tops of the lipsticks. But again, I got the color Fig, and I really like this. It's been in my purse for the past couple days. It's just a really good, kind of like peachy pink, good for every day, and it's so, so, so comfortable on the lips. I have been really liking this one. And then the other lipstick I got is from Kat Von D and it is their studded kiss lipstick in the shade Lolita and I have the liquid lipstick version of Lolita and I really really like it so that'd be cool to try the actual lipstick version because maybe this one would be a little bit more comfortable than a liquid lipstick and I could just throw this in my purse and just kind of apply it you know without a mirror or whatever but I used it today it's what I'm wearing and it's a little bit like drying which isn't really my favorite thing it feels very like tacky and I don't think I could apply this without a mirror, but it is really, really pretty. Sticking with Kat Von D, I also picked up her Kat Von D, obviously, um, color correcting eyeshadow primer. And this one had pretty good reviews, and I'm all for finding a Holy Grail eyeshadow primer because my eyelids are so crease prone. It's like the only thing on my face that gets actually kind of oily, and I'm just like a creasy mess by the end of the day. So I think this might work for me. Fingers crossed. Next thing I picked up is something I was really, really excited about. It is the Sephora Color Switch by Vera Mona. And I saw this, I think. Uh, Bunny from Graveyard Girl has this or has the actual like, Veramoda one and she seems to really like it. When I saw Sephora had one with the Veramoda thing I was like ooh I gotta try this. And basically what it is it's like a sponge inside this little tin and you can take your makeup brush and just kind of like swirl it in the sponge and it kind of knocks off pigment from other eyeshadows so if you're using like the same brush for a couple different shades and you don't want the shades to you know mix and end up kind of looking muddy you can basically do a quick clean with this and I've been using it for the past couple days and it actually really really works like I'm very impressed. Next thing I picked up is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in the shade Incandescent Strobe Light. And it looks like this. And I'm kind of on the fence about this. I've been using it for the past couple days. And I'm just really not sure. I feel like it looks nice on camera. It looks like a more subtle glow from within highlight. But when it says like strobe on the packaging and in the name, I feel like it should be a little bit more intense. A little bit more like the Becca powders. And another thing I noticed is that it's kind of glitter like in a not so good way so I don't really know how I feel about this product yet I'm still gonna try it out and see but like what do y'all think I'm wearing it right now so does it look good does it look bad can you even notice it let me know 
From Stila, I picked up their Aqua Glow Watercolor Blush in the shade Water Lily. And I think this will be perfect for summertime because it is a water kind of gel based blush. It looks like this. And obviously, I haven't used it because it was still in the packaging. But I'm really, really excited. I've heard really good things. It says to shake well before use, so that's interesting. But I think this will be good for just like an everyday kind of like no makeup makeup look, especially for the summer when it's super, super hot. So we shall see how this works out. I picked up a couple new hair products from Dry Bar, which is very exciting. I recently got my hair done, so I feel like I need to really take care of it so the color lasts a really long time, which means investing in some nicer products that aren't just going to like strip the color away. So I got a new shampoo and conditioner. I picked up the Saki Balm Nourishing Conditioner and Shampoo. Looks like this. They're pretty cute if you ask me, and I actually used them for the first time today when I washed my hair after my spin class. And I think it worked really, really well, especially the conditioner. I wasn't expecting too much of the conditioner since it wasn't like super, super thick, but it made my hair feel really, really soft and it smells really good. So, so far, so good. And then I also picked up the Southern Belle Volumizing Mousse because I don't have any mousse. I don't know what happened to all well my mousse, but I don't have it. And my hairstylist said it's good to use mousse because it adds a little bit of texture, a little bit of volume. So I decided to pick up this one because it's a Southern Belle one and I am a Southern Belle and I used it today. and. I think it looks really really good I have a lot of volume I didn't use any like dry shampoo or anything today and my hair is like fluffy in a good way so I'm actually pretty impressed with this and the final thing I picked up is from origins and this is kind of like I thought it was gonna be a gimmicky product but has really good reviews and like I used it the other day and I'm kind of really impressed it is the origins mask maskimizer I don't know skim Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. And this is basically something you're supposed to spray onto your face before you put on a face mask. And it's supposed to like allow your skin to really absorb the face mask even better. And so I tried this the other day with a sheet mask. And you know when you use sheet mask and you take them off and they're usually really like slimy so you have to like really rub the solution onto your face but after i used this product with my sheet mask and i took my mask off there really wasn't too much like left over to really rub in so that kind of shows me that this really did kind of help my skin absorb the mask a lot more effectively so i don't know i've only used it once but i'm really actually kind of impressed i don't know if it's a gimmick or not but like I think it works. Alright everyone, so that is everything for this Sephora haul. Um, yeah, I did it again. I have a problem. I know. I'm super excited about all this stuff and so far I've been really enjoying trying it. So if you want to see like an update video in a couple weeks over all of this stuff to see if it's like worth the money, if it's not, if it's amazing, if it's disappointing, let me know and I can definitely do that for you guys. Um, and also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye y'all!